What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are having a good one today. I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install Reshade for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Reshade is super good for changing up the colors of the game, making the game more vibrant, uh, allowing you to see things better, sharpening the game, etc. You can do actually a lot with this and I'm going to show you a good setup which we'll get into once we show you how to install it and everything. But uh, another thing that it'll allow you to do is make the game clear, crystal clear. It won't be blurry when you have certain options enabled in graphics that allows the game to look much, much better. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, keep in mind that this footage you're seeing right at this very moment is not using reshade. You have to wait to the end of the video for that. As well, Player Unknown himself said that this is completely safe and completely allowed in their TOS and stuff. So you won't get banned or in, get in any trouble for using reshade on battlegrounds so let's go ahead and get right into it so to get started we will need reshade uh, downloaded onto our computer so to get that go ahead and open up your internet browser the link will be in the description to click on so you don't have to google it but you just need to go to reshade and it's called reshade.me and this is the link it'll bring you to that's in the description go ahead and click download it'll scroll you down to the bottom hit download and you can save it to your desktop I already have mine on my desktop, so I'm not going to re-download it. Here it is. So just go ahead and double click to open it up. Once we're ready, we can go ahead and select the game. Now, if you don't know where your game is located, you can go to your Steam library, uh, go to Battlegrounds, hit Properties, and then go to Local Files and Browse Local Files. And here is the path that mine is located under. So I went and copied that and we could click this and paste it in. Now what we need to do is click on TSL game, go here. Click Win64, then you'll see TSL game. This is the application.exe file. Go ahead and double click that, and now it will automatically or should automatically select uh, Direct 3D 10 Plus, and that's what you want. So go ahead and click that. And then from here, it says, Do you wish to download the collection of standard effects? Hit yes. It's going to download. Now, we don't need all of these. You can look up different settings online if you want, but I'm going to show you some settings that I found uh, on Reddit. So we will need clarity, colorfulness, luma sharpen, and vibrance. Now, of course, if you want to add stuff later on, you find different settings, you can do that easily. So go ahead and click that, and it says installing to TSL game succeeded. Now we can go ahead, it's done. You can go ahead and exit and launch up Battlegrounds. And once it is up, uh, you'll see this here that shows that Reshade is installed to the game. And it said you can press Shift F2. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Before we do that, I want to show you some settings that you will want to use in this in the graphics options. So what I want to use is put anti-aliasing on ultra or high. That makes edges smooth and such, but it produces a lot of blur, which we're going to use this Reshade to fix. And then everything else seems okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And now what you want to do is press shift F2 and we're brought up this little window here. Click continue You can go to settings and here's all the settings for everything. But we're going to go back to home and what we're going to do is click uh, on this plus button. We're going to name, let's just name PUBG like so. And now we got this here. We can go ahead and enable everything like that. And you might be able to see it changing in the background, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. We're not going to mess with any settings. And we also just made a key to toggle on and off. So this is toggled off. Pay attention. We're going to toggle it on now. That is the difference. It looks absolutely amazing. Just these simple four effects will do this to the game. And it looks really, really good. So now we're in game. I can show it off to you right now. We do actually have it on. Now keep in mind that there is no effects added to this video while I'm editing or anything like that. But if we go ahead and turn it off by hitting Shift F3, as you can see there, that is it turned off and it looks completely washed out. Doesn't look as good at all. And that is it on. So again, it looks really, really good and not definitely not gonna be able to play without it now. But uh, here I found this good spot here. As you can see, we have it off here. And it looks, you know, kind of kind of gloomy almost unless I'm already really that used to it. But if we turn it on here, as you can see, it, it gives a different vibe. It's much brighter, uh, much more colorful and clearer. I don't know if you can notice that in the video, but I can in game, it's a lot clearer. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like down below and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.